Hello Floss Tube, it's Amber Rug Mama Stitcher and it is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. This is Floss Tube number 61 for me and um, it feels like it has been a very long time since I've talked to you uh, since we last um, caught up. So, um, you know, I just finally had to say, okay, we're, we're going to do this today. <sighs> Relax, it's going to happen. Um, so my husband has been working a lot and this is his only day off in like a couple weeks. And, um, so we, um, you know, we spent the day together and so now it is, um, the evening, but it's Utah and it's really bright outside still. So since I have some natural light, um, which is really the best light to show cross stitch in, um, just barely left, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do a floss tube. Um, you know, to catch up with y'all because, you know, I think it's been a month um, and I have stitched quite a bit, but only on one project. Really, I have stitched on three, but the majority is on uh, my one. And I, um, I wanted to, uh, you know, finish the stocking that I've been stitching on and even maybe a couple finishes uh, besides that. And I just you know, uh, before I did another floss tube, but it's it's just kind of been too long, so I didn't want to um, waylay any longer. So yeah, so in case you have not um, watched me before, this is the channel where I primarily talk about my cross stitch projects, and um, you know, just one of my main, um, you know, passions in my life, and um, you know, it's, uh, it's just something that, um, you know, I, didn't really get to talk to people about in the past um, before I got onto floss tube. It's been three years now since I started floss tube, and um, you know it's just wonderful being able to connect with all these cross stitchers around the world. You don't do that. My my husband's cat sees a box with floss in it though, so she thought about jumping in, but it's full of floss, isn't it? Stop that. <sighs> okay, you're back. You always do this when I'm filming. You're so silly. Okay. You want to come up here? You want to say hi? No, she's. Not, I'm not going to do that to her this time. Okay. Um, so um, I could show you my my whips first, and then I do have quite a bit of haul. It's not going to be. Hopefully, it's not going to be too long of a floss tube today. Um, so I've been inspired uh, partly to work on my um, stocking kit. Um, because of the Bring Out Your Kit style that was started by Thread Gremlins and Jen's Fiberweb. And um, they have awesome uh, kits that they've been working on. And um, my favorite right now is the Wizard uh, by Design Works. It's a clown and has like a castle behind it and um, the Snow Cone Stitchery on Instagram and Thread Gremlins on Instagram both are doing stitching that kit. I'm gonna close the door, sorry. All right, so um, I love that. Um, so go check them out. I'll put their you know, handles on uh, the description box or in the description box. Um, so yeah, so I was inspired by that. So it's a uh, hashtag bring out your kit style. Um, and also, you know, um, I mentioned on my la last floss tube, the Annie from XO Needle in the Hay XO that um, her Care Bear stocking also inspired me to, you know, keep <laughs> going on the stocking um, that I've been working on since, well, I kind of let it, you know, go dormant uh, since like July, well, I started at July um, 2023, um, July 19th, 2023. So this is, um, you know, the cover photo. It was uh, stuck to cardboard, so I had to make a photocopy of it um, you know, because I don't want to like carry a big, thick piece of cardboard around in my project bag. But that's the stocking that I'm working on. It's uh, from the Good Shepherd, um, and uh, and it's designed by Joan Elliott. It's called Sharing Christmas, and I did make quite a bit of changes um, to this because I I felt like there was not enough color variety, um, and so. Um, I have done all the full stitches and, um, I have, um, 
you know, done some back stitching in there. Um, I've done the personalization now. Um, I did change the the lettering for that. Um, you know, I just didn't like the lettering from. I just plain did not like the lettering from the previous um, design, or you know, from the current design, I guess. Um, so yeah, I just changed changed the lettering for her name. This is my nephew's uh, daughter. So yeah. So and I so I I added blue and purple um, to the piece. I have changed some uh, pink. Uh, from floss from the kit to some other pink that I thought looked better. Um, I changed the bear's hat to purple and the cat's hat to blue. Um, I left out the half stitches of metallic here in the present because um, these, the I have finished all the half stitches of metallic in the Christmas tree. Um, I I do really. Um, love how that looks um you know the metallic the half stitches there i'm back stitching the um the ornaments in the tree um and i love the way that's turning out and i'm doing the back stitch um in like a darker color of the colors you know like the you know the darker blue for the blues and then the dark purple um for the purple. Uh, and I just like how that kind of rounds it out better, you know, just makes it look more circular. There were not back stitching, um, you know, instructions for those particular um, items on the stocking, and I'm okay with that. I'm just doing single strand. There is instruction to, um, you know, back stitch this gold metallic around the um, star, around the candlelight. And I'm just, I just, I'm not going to go for that. I don't like it. Um, I think it looks too bulky and I'll show you the cover photo again. Um, the sh uh, Christmas is for sharing sign in the background. That originally um, did not have any blue in the background. It was just plain white. So I changed that. Um, the rug uh, was originally just had, you know, it was kind of more like, um, diamond shaped, I guess, like in the little patterns, and I made them into just heart shapes by leaving off uh, a stitch on the top of the design. And I replaced the um, kit slot, uh, kit um, fabric rather, uh, that was just a 14 count white Ada. I just replaced it with um, an opalescent white Ada, uh, 14 count that I just you know bought online. I don't remember who from. It's been a little while. <laughs> So, and I did, I believe I, th these are, you know, pretty dark and like, cause I chose the maroon color instead of like the bright red. And it seems like that's different than what they were wanting, like they had called for in the pattern. Um, but I swear I was reading the instructions properly and that it was calling for the darker, but let me, let me double check. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it called for the darker, and I just kind of think it, um, the cover photo looks like they use the light cut, like the light red, the bright red, and that's okay, you know. Um, but yeah, so so if you see like the metallic is gone off the present, off here, and I'm okay with that, and then the pattern of the rug is different, and I kind of, this kind of bothered me that there was so much white in the uh, toe of the stocking, but I do um, velveteen or velvet or micro velvet piping around the stocking it looks like you know and I think that'll frame that nicely and kind of not uh, allow it to be plain looking I think it'll I think it'll be nice like I kept thinking like should I put a pattern for like a carpet or like hardwood floor something like that on there but I just kind of I'm not feeling that I, I think that the um the stocking itself has enough going on now, you know, the fill-in of the blue on the sign, um, you know, the different colors and things like that. I kind of just feel like it's popping and it's alive enough the way it is. It doesn't need more 
kind of going on uh, down here, you know, in the opalescent also, I think kind of, you know, makes it have a little more movement, I guess. Um, but yeah, see how the sign, um, the Christmas is for sharing. It's not blue, it's, it's white, and I just like it so much better blue. Um, yeah, so. And the pinks in the kit just, I think, maybe changed over time, or maybe just kind of weren't super accurate. Like, they were a little, um, like, too dark and too light. The contrast was too great, I thought. Um, to, and so that's why I just ended up using um, pinks that blended better for the because the area where they're used are the cat's ears and the bear's ears and the bear the bottom of the bear's feet and it's just a lot and so I just wanted to make sure I was really happy with how those pinks would look so yeah so the um, I think I've <laughs> covered most of it I did completely finish back stitching the blue um, bows up there and I'm I'm okay with those like I think they look all right um, you know just dark blue the darkest blue in the you know that I had chosen um, yeah so I like it I've been watching The Mentalist with uh, Simon Baker um, when I've been back stitching the stocking and kind of making progress on the stocking lately so that's cool I kind of transitioned into that in the daytime and who's the boss at night or you know sometimes I just watch the mentalist now my husband really likes the mentalist compared probably compared to who's the boss um anyway so this um kit I had I did stitch this kit but then I passed it on to somebody else but I did keep the um my photocopy of the cover photo so I made this uh piece a few years ago for one of my nephews um my youngest nephew actually and I just absolutely loved it. Um, but for the family um, set that his um, stocking was to go with, um, I didn't think this uh, personalization uh, lettering was correct, you know, or just would, would go great with, with the rest of his families. So, um, and then I, I think I gave away the pattern to somebody and I just never, I didn't foresee it and I'll have the foresight to think maybe I'd use the the personalization for um, you know from that particular kit and I ended up like I was using a different um, personalization for for this it was from one of my um, Christmas Christmas books you know just from years ago and um, on my previous floss tubes I have shown it um, but it just I wasn't feeling it I didn't like it um, and so it's kind of a lesson, you know, for, for us, you know, people who are makers and just to, if you're not feeling it, don't, maybe don't keep going. Like if you can, you know, if you can make that decision yourself and, um, you know, you kind of feel like this isn't going in the right direction, maybe just move on to other things in that piece until you can kind of get a clearer vision of like what you want. And in this case, um, I was pretty much done with most of the stocking before because I kept kind of envisioning these letters um you know and it was and I figured out stuff I want to set myself in the face um but I kept on envisioning these letters and I figured out oh yeah it's it's these you know from this previous stocking um that I never used and so then I tried it out because you know I didn't have the pattern but I did have the majority of the letters already in the name uh already in Benjamin and so all I needed to do was kind of make up how I think the L would look in that, um, you know, alphabet. And um, I did uh, elongate originally what I had done. I made four stitches on the bottom of the L, um, you know, and just spaced it out like a little bit more. And I just, I just love how this turned out. I think it's really charming. It's really whimsical looking. It's really sweet. And I think this... Um, you know, the recipient, the young lady will really like it. And she already said she thinks it's really cute. I showed her mom and you know, so what does she think? <laughs> so, um, you know, she said she thinks it's adorable and she loves it. So, uh, you know, she'll probably, hopefully just love it even more when it's back stitched. And, you know, and I, I'm, I'm happy with it and it's gonna go so great with the rest of her family's stockings, so. And, um, of course, I'm going to tag Joan Elliott on Facebook once I'm done with it. 
once I have it FFO'd. And I think, oh, and I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to stitch it with blue micro velvet. I already do have some micro velvet. I think it's going to go great with it. I just don't know if I have enough right now. So I might have to get more. Um, but we'll see because, yeah, I think that's going to be great. The back will be the blue micro velvet and then the inside will be some kind of brushed satin, probably um, maybe yellow, maybe light blue, probably light blue. And if I can find a light purple, maybe I will, because it's for a girl, and maybe she will like the lavender or light purple, so we'll see. We'll see what I can do. So, um, and then uh, something kind of satisfying for me, at least. I don't know if I've talked to you about this, but speaking of kits, um, something satisfying for me is to see kind of how much kit floss I have left. Um, Sorry, I have another kit in here now ready because I, because my nephew and his wife had another baby. So I'm like, ah, what, what uh, kit do you want next? What stocking do you want next? I've already asked and they've already picked one out and I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, get my cue snap out. Okay. So for the kit floss left, oh, this is just a mess. Oh my goodness. I made this really neat and now it's a mess, but this is all I have left of the kit floss. And this is all the, like the DMC, um, you know, and one of them CXC that I used. I mean, it's not awesome. I just love it. I love using almost all of it or all of it. And, you know, I r did run out of some of the brown, the dark brown from the bear. And I had to, I think it was for DMC 434 that I had to um, finish up the rest of um, his paw, like his bottom paw, it was this one, but I have some DMC 434 instead of the kit floss, which, you know, it's DMC 434, just a different dye lot, so, you know, that's fine. Turned out great. So, um, speaking of, of the floss, um, this metallic, uh, floss was very different for me to use. It's like as thick as the pearl cotton and this, um, yeah, it is so darn thick. I think it's a tapestry needle that, um, they included in the kit so that you could stitch this, um, this floss through, I mean, doing all that back stitch on the, um, you know, on the, uh, Oh my gosh, star <laughs> and all of the um, candle light, you know, and um, you know, as, as you know, I wasn't feeling it, but I did do all those gold um, ornaments, you know, those gold highlights on the inside of that tree. Oh my goodness, my thumb hurt so bad after finishing pulling those through. But see that tapestry needle? I think that's a number 24 above that, but I, th I believe that's a tapestry needle, but it is so thick. I mean, oh my gosh, maybe it doesn't look thick, but that was a lot to pull through and I'm glad that's over. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I have left for the metallic floss for that kit. And um, yeah, this, so I actually can show you the pink the contrast of the pink um, from the kit that I just really wasn't feeling. And then, um, you know, the pink I, I ended up getting from my stash. So that's the pink from the kit that's, you know, hanging loose kind of there. And then that's the kit I ended up using, or that's the floss I ended up using from my stash compared um and this is the um the lighter pink color from the kit you know that i've all but used every bit of it um but see what i mean it blends a lot better than that darker pink um i i mean i was kind of shocked about what a strong um contrast those were so you know that's it was just too much you know for me I, and it didn't look like that in the cover photo so yeah, way better with just kind of the, you know, more subtle, dark, uh, you know, 3354. 
and the lighter pink from the um, kit. So yeah, so much better. Yeah, and um, let's see. So this is basically what I have left from the kit floss. Um, you know, I'll try to get this less ratty to shine. But oh, that that was an extra. I used I got a CXC three seven five three for um, all the extra light blue I was gonna put in. But yeah, that's it for the kit floss. Even when I use different um, supplement colors, um, I never use this because this was part of the bare colors, and I just hated that. I did that actually is like one reason I ended up taking a long time. Uh, to finish this to because I just got discouraged with having like this Brown and then I had to kind of start over it would I didn't do much But about right there. I think is when I frogged it and started using the um, You know DMC 167 So I don't know this is for me a lesson in you know, just don't try to force it don't try to use everything from um, you know from the kit if, um, you know, if it's not agreeable, if you don't think it's nice, you know, just replace it. You know, so some things will just age. Some things, maybe they, you know, didn't have the right colors. Maybe they made an error. But see, that's a huge difference in that color. And uh, it just looks so much better. Um, anyways, so that was that was it um, about the kit. Um you know, I just love kits, uh, really love kits. I think, you know, when I started cross-stitching, um, you know, within the first few years, um, my mom and I had, because, you know, I was about 12 when I first started, well, I was 12, and when I started doing um, stockings, you know, my mom came up with this, you know, idea, or maybe I did, I can't remember, but, you know, I used to do a lot of ornaments. I did, like, over 50 of the same, like, Ruth Moorhead ornaments uh, for friends and family, and... Um, you know, uh, my mom and I were talking about, you know, like, let's, maybe we could, do, I could do stockings for the family. And so, um, you know, very, like, I think when I was 16 or 17, I started stitching stockings for my family and, um, you know, just haven't stopped since. And the sharing Christmas stocking is going to be number 29 for the stockings that I've done for all my friend or all my family. And, um, you know, including two, uh, my, my mother and father-in-law. Um, so yeah, so it is a lot, but I, um, it's very gratifying, I think, to know that, that I can, I've contributed and that I can contribute to my family and extended family with a token like that, uh, you know, so, um. What was I going to tell you? Oh, so here's the next kit that um, I picked out, um, you know, with my um, nephew's wife and nephew's uh, approval for their um, youngest child. So it's this one. It's, um, I've already taken the kit out. I already made a photocopy. It's got the same thing going on where the picture, the cover photo is plastered onto a thick piece of cardboard. So that's in my, you know, project, um, like in the bag where I um, save all my old stocking um, cover photos and stuff um, just for a record you know for myself so I can look through it later but this one is the next one I love this one so much it's three bunnies and there's three siblings in that family um, so far and I just absolutely love it. it's another good shepherd Joan Elliott and these dimensions are um, you know in the a 14 count um, are 9 by 16 which is pretty you know, standard for a, a stocking, cross-stitch stocking. So, yeah, the little, like, the big bunny feet sticking up between the, you know, like, at the head, oh my gosh, footboard, um, you know, kind of between the two smaller bunnies. That's really cute. Very similar presents, and, sorry, I'm shaking with that one hand. Um, very similar presents as the other, um, a Sharing Christmas. And this one's called The Night Before. They've got visions of, um sugar plums, I guess, <laughs> dancing in their head, candy and presents. And I honestly don't, since this is a boy, I'm just going to use a 
all of their family has a 14 count uh, Y Ada and or for the girls two girls so far it's been opalescent 14 count white Ada um, so yeah for this one I'm gonna do white Ada but the kit white Ada oh you are back um, the cat's back <laughs> So this is the kit, um, well this is not the kit White Ada, actually I already switched it out because it was pretty dingy and I did not like the quality, like the hole seemed like really big for, for I mean even for like 14 count. Alright, so I went and got the old Ada to show you. Um, you know, just one of those things where I just say, you know, if you don't like it, you probably can't tell that it's dingy, but to me I can, so. That was one of the pieces, and I, of course I've hung on to it because I, I don't really normally throw away cross stitch stuff. It's hard. I don't know. Like when I, I might need that someday. So this there's like there was like a slub piece in that sharing Christmas kit um, that I was kind of like ooh like I don't know how I'd correct that exactly. I don't really like that. I don't want to risk it, but I was gonna use up less than anyway. So yeah. Anyway, um, because it's. I don't know if you can tell how yellow those are, but I ended up grabbing some 14 count Ada from a different kit and it was a longer piece, but then I just cut it down to, you know, what I needed. Um, so yeah, so, and then there's the floss for that kit. There again, that um, scary, super thick metallic floss. So that'll be pretty. And of course I'm going to need to separate all those colors out, but they're really similar. And I figure I'm just going to hang on to the old colors that I used um, uh, from Sharing Christmas and I will see if I can integrate and blend or you know tweed any of those colors together uh, like the blues and things um, to kind of make sure that it does go with you know the family you know the family um, stockings already so we'll see I probably would change, change some colors around I'll probably make that bed spread um, a different color um, just because there's it's a, a lot of white. Um, so I'm going to make some alterations to this as well as I did with the other one most likely. Although this one does have a lot, uh, I feel like it has a lot more color going on than Sharing Christmas did. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, the old, the old instructions, I love those. Um, it's a thing like a, opening it up and said I, I wanted to save it for floss tube to open it with you but you know I, I did not have the I was so excited once they picked this one I did not have the self-control <laughs> um, so yeah pardon me while I put these things away okay um, so yeah, that was the majority, um, and you know, from the last um, floss tube I did, I know for sure I did not have the the cat done. Um, I think from the last floss tube, I think I was maybe up here, maybe in here somewhere, and I had done some of the present bow. I don't remember if I'd done you know the green or anything. For sure, I had not done the rug. So there, there we go. There, there you have it. Okay. Um, oh, uh, yeah. So then the other two whips that I worked on, uh, I did work on my uh, soda stitch, um, the pop-up store ice cream shop. So I'm gonna zoom in a little, so you can see better. Yeah. I love that. Oh, it's so cute. I dropped um, like a coat, hot cocoa in, in my bag on accident because it was next to my nightstand. It was very upsetting, but I ended up, it, not, it, it wasn't too bad. I was able to wash whatever, you know, got... Uh, got cocoa on it, except for a little bit I just noticed on the back of that um, little pattern book, booklet. Okay, so last time 
Um, yeah, I don't quite remember, but I know I've made more progress on the white and I've gotten further this way. I think I was maybe here last time and I've gone to, um, well there, obviously. So I think I was, oh, I think I was about there. Where am I thinking? To here now. Yeah. About there. So real close to finishing the roof. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be really pretty and this is a hand dyed by Rolanda, a 28 count Lozana, an original. Uh, stitching uh, three over two with um, DMC and some black label CXC, uh, white and black. Um, oh, what I forgot to say, all that I spent like 20 minutes or so on that kit and I didn't mention that normally the kits uh, that are 14 count ADA stitched on 14 count ADA um, call for two over one uh, floss and I stitch three over one floss now um, on a 14 count normally or 28 count because I like the full coverage of the stitches um, so anyway so yeah three over one or three over two on on 28 count uh, you know, on uh, kind of a, an equivalent there. I just love how plump the stitches turn out, so. Yeah, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for putting up with that. Um, I, I hate when I forget that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, but you know, I'm human, so. Uh, let's see, and then, so that was my other whip, and then I stitched quite a bit on, oh, and that's, um, Soda pop up style, the soda pop or the soda stitch pop up shops, and I believe there's 12 in all right now. Um, I don't, doesn't seem like there's going to be any more. So if you ever want to join, there is plenty of time left because there's no time limit on the soda pop up style. Okay, those pop up shops are really cute, really fun. I can attest to that. Um, yeah. So okay, we've got. Got little threads in the front here. And so this is Frog um, by Katie Abbey and um, charted by Hoops and Crosses UK. And I love him and he is almost done. He is so cute. <laughs> I have a lot of black threads hanging down because I just wanted to do them all um, like his body I wanted to kind of get it all you know kind of uh, you know the structure of it mapped out and then I could just like fill in as I went down and isn't he cute I just love him so this is uh, fiberlicious yummy fibers 28 count linen uh, do you see what I see absolutely love it um, yeah, so getting somewhere. Last time, I think I was, I wasn't too, I haven't made a lot of progress, but I think I was probably about like we're up there, um, you know, and maybe hadn't put as many of these um, black uh, lines down, um, columns down, if you will. So I, I love it. I think it looks great. I'm not totally done with the rainbow, but really close to done with the rainbow. I just have the indigo. I believe that is what it is to finish. You can tell I've used this pattern a lot. Um, yeah, this, this little guy is me a lot of times. Um, you know, you become a supervisor, which, you know, I've always seems like, you know, I, yeah, <laughs> like somehow I get into management, <laughs> but, um, you know, it kind of is that, that feeling of like when you're managing, you know, kind of managing people, you're like, well, what's going on <laughs> sometimes? Um, yeah, so yeah, so that was it for my whips. Um, and, and the, um, the frog piece, um, the hashtag is, uh, 
Frazzled Frog South. So if you want to join that, that's not too late either. Uh, it's a good time. It's easy. It's funny. It's fun. It's adorable. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, so I got I got some awesome uh, shout outs. Uh, I got um, I got some haul, uh, some stitchy kindness. Um, so I got a shout out from um, Just Keep Stitching Pam and Steph. I sent them um, some, you know, goodies that I, you know, just really like, was inspired to send because I, you know, I saw something that, like this, um, this French magazine. Um, I am not going to pronounce it because I will butcher it, but I do have copies of it. I don't have a subscription. Uh, I wish I did, but it's a pretty penny, um, and you know, I maybe maybe I will. I just I I, have, I look at like every. Um, copy of those and want every single one so I probably should have a subscription because that's Veronique and Ginger or Ingenue um, you know and these different designers that are you know French and I just love them Lily Violet um, I don't know if she's Italian or French I think I'm now I'm thinking she's French but um, but yeah so they I sent um, um, you know, Pam and Steph, like, like a, you know, stitchy kindness or care package. So just that some things I thought, well, I love these things. I think maybe they will like these things. That's normally how it starts, you know, as I find something and I'm like, oh, oh it's for, you know, whoever, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching or, you know, talking to and, and inspired by them as well. Um, but it was the Nutcracker Table Runner and... I think it was in the December 2022 issue of this um, magazine. So, anyways, um, so that was great. They gave me a lovely shout out um, and showed that. Um, and um, what else? And then uh, Annie at XO Needle in the Hay XO. She's mentioned me. Um, there are other floss tubers that have mentioned me. I just have been working a lot and I've been tired, so I haven't watched a lot of floss tube. I've been watching as much as I can because I really enjoy it, um, watching everybody else and seeing, you know, what everybody else is doing. So, um, let's see. Um, da, da. So, the haul um, that I got. Oh. I, maybe I should show the Stitchy Kindness first since I've been talking about that. So I got some Stitchy Kindness from um, a uh, an Instagram friend uh, named Kelly and her handle is pages and then number three stitches um, and you know she she said hey you know um, I thought maybe you could uh, use some quilting fabric to build your stash and she's right, I can. So since she saw all my quilting, um, you know, squares. So so she got me some great like retro colors that would go well with my quilt because it's gonna be a big quilt. Um, but you know, things like that, that. She said, that's not, I think she said they weren't really like her taste, but she thought maybe I could use them and I can. So thank you so much, um, Kelly. That was really super generous of you. And the strawberries, perfect. You um, made the right call there. I love those. Um, the hearts, again, perfect. Love that. Um, I love these. That is perfect for the quilt that I'm gonna, I'm making. Um, you know, I love the fruit and the teal. Um, you know, there's so many really cool, um, quilting, uh, fabrics in this. That's great, right? Oh, love that. Um, just fun, very bold. Like, I just very much gravitate toward very bold colors. So, they make me happy. Those, that's the same fabric, uh, but just different colors that I already do have in my quilt. So, that's awesome. And yeah, there's oh the mushrooms in the bag too. Yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome. So thank you again so much, Kelly. Um, you know, just super generous uh, of you. So 
thought that was pretty cool. Those are cute. And then that. I love that. That definitely says to me like 80s retro. Like the, 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 po the little tiny polka dots. Sorry. Like. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was awesome. And uh, she sent me this really cute card. Butterflies on it. So, thank you. Um, what else? Okay, so then I, oh, and I, you know what? Since I've been showing you, uh, you know, some quilty uh, kindness, <laughs> I guess that could be a bit of stitchy kindness, I could show you my quilting box. I made 26 so far, and um, I could just try to kind of go through these fast. So, this will probably take maybe 10 minutes, maybe less, hopefully. Um, just in case you want to, you know, kind of fast forward. So that one, a lot of these are from Rose Garden Patchwork, um, in the UK. And I have tried to be plus cut some of these. Let's see, like, especially the square in the middle. I think that's worth it. So I love the little kind of weird, like, sepia looking bunnies and cats and that and the edges of that one so yeah see that that mushroom fabric yeah this one has a pineapple in the middle I love that um, this is from the wish app or maybe this is t-mail recently this fabric right here with the lemons and mangoes <laughs> I don't know, it's a cool looking fruit. I like it. <laughs> um, you know, Fuzzy Cut the Heart, obviously, and the heart on the last one. Um, you know, love that. Yeah. So, and I love this with the um, the dress, like the little nighty in the middle there. I definitely Fuzzy Cut that piece. That was the only one in the whole piece I had. The whole piece of fabric. Cute little dress. Uh, bird or ducky on the clothesline there okay and he's he makes another appearance here on this orange one super cute so yeah yeah orange I've shown this one before it's one of the first ones I did that might have been the first one I did Little kid playing with his toy horses there. Might have shown this one before, can't remember. Love it though. I did show that one, I think that was one of the first ones I did as well. And this one too. So cute. So I figured out if I make, it's going to be 130 squares, um, you know, five by five squares. If it's going to be a throw size, 65 by 50 or 50 by 65. Um, so 130 squares. So yeah, that's, that's something. So we'll see what I, what I get down there. Nope. I think I showed you that one upside down there. Like trains and things and that one and some peaches, I think. Some kind of weird fruit again. <laughs> uh, did a little more of a fuzzy cut on this one just because I wanted some of the fruit to show. It's kind of, the fabric's like a little awkward to cut. I don't know. It's like the placement's strange. But that one, it's like my a new blue one. I like the little yarn ball there. So, and then everyone had well, not everyone. Several people said I should do a purple, some purple squares. And so I'm trying out purple, um, and I like it. I think it's really pretty. I love purple. I love purple. But it seemed for whatever reason that purple is not in the retro, like, fabrics or whatever. Like, it was kind of harder to find within a retro theme, except for these bears definitely have a purple, but they have a lot more of the other color bears, so I'm having a fussy cut more, like, purple bears out. Um... Yeah, so whatever that's about, I don't know. 
I showed that one before. Um, this one also. I love that one with the little dog in the middle. So cute. At least I think I showed that one. And I believe I showed that one. I still have to do two more green and I have, you know, more to do. But So I think because I need um, multiple, I need more colors to kind of make a balance of this quilt. I think I'm adding like a brown and like like more pink and it's yeah so I've I've done the math on this and it I, I need a wider variety of color I think I will just add kind of some more like reddish kind of stuff and then like brown oh I'm losing light so I gotta hurry um so my haul uh is basically I did um I got some quilting haul because I, a while back I made a banana a uh, quilt for uh, one of my uh, son's little girlfriends and um, and I've been missing that quilt and I'm, and I, I'm so happy I gave that to her right so happy but I keep missing the fabric and so I'm like okay I'm just gonna get the fabric again and instead of getting just like fat quarters this time I just got like a half a yard of this one I think I've shown this on the quilt on floss too um, I got a half a yard of this one that's so cute and um, got two, uh, one yard each of the others. So well, I don't know what I'm really gonna do. I think I'll make another heart quilt because hers was like a heart strip, like strips uh, quilt. And you know, and oh, and I got this one's new, and I just loved how her, uh, how it turned out. And if you want to see it, then you need to. They're like, you need to. No, I don't mean that. I just mean like, I am really not a great, you know, I don't look into like how to do editing or anything. So I, I you know, I could put the picture in there, I guess, if I actually like, um, you know, did editing, but my, my uh, energy resources are not high. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so look at that. Oh my gosh, that fabric is just the cutest. If you guys haven't watched Banana, yet, it's like the cutest thing. Like. I love it. So it's just really fun and you know just light and sweet. It's kind of funny too. So and this is my other fabric. And my last one. Got a yard of that. It's really cute. I love the black banana uh, kitty and the banana. It's so cute. And then the playing the saxophone and then there's like the little little cute mice. I love those. See the little Little tail of mice, so cute. Okay, yeah, running out of daylight here. Um, so the fabric shops that I got my um, fabric from are Sassy and Chic Fabrics, uh, Marshmallow Fabrics, and Contexture Fabrics, and that was all on Etsy. And another haul I got was this chicken project bag which for now I have my um, In My Garden Mirabilia's in. I think this is really pretty and I love how she, um, I don't know if you can tell in the sliding, but she put sort of like an ombre sort of variegated um, thread like seam. Uh, so there's like, there's purple in this, you know, in this fabric. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can see now. Um, but yeah, so really pretty. I love it. So um, here's the floss I just got from 123stitch for the In My Garden pieces, all of them. It's going to be stitched on the 40 count Northumberland Sampler House uh, fabric and I got my beads. My glass beads, Mel Hill, for the one piece, I believe, like the one design that calls for their beads in, the, in my garden set. I got a couple bags of a hundred floss away um, bags. So, and um, the seller uh, of the maker and the seller of the bag is um, Heidi's Homemade Quilts on Etsy. 
she sent this, uh, you know, complimentary pair of uh, scissors. So I thought that was really nice. And then, you know, obviously that's my Northumberland Sampler House 40 count linen, uh, mocha linen. And these are the In My Garden pieces by Mirabilia, designed by Nora Corbett. Really pretty that I'm planning on. So those are going to be a start very soon. I just just barely got the floss a day or two ago in the mail. I think it was yesterday. My days really, uh, in a good way, seem like there are several days. <laughs> so I have a lot packed in my days. Um, okay. And then... Um, more Nora Corbett um, Mirabilia related haul um, that I got from 123 Stitch because of course I couldn't just get floss I had to get uh, charts <laughs> you know I thought this was going to be a short one it's almost an hour also <gasps> ah okay <clears throat> so from the Nora Corbett collection I got Melmody Melmody Rose oh I love it And then, oh my gosh, this is the one that really got my attention, Gigantic French Rose. Probably we'll start that first. I love that. One step at a time, though, I need to start the In My Garden um, set for self-control. Okay, and then the Cumberland Rose. There it is. Beautiful. I love these. I love these so much. <laughs> I think I just did not have the capacity to like comprehend how much I love these. I don't know, like, but when I saw them on one, two, three stitch, um, you know, I just was like, okay, like I gotta get them, you know, after maybe it was just because I only had the capacity for in my garden and now I have the capacity for more since I know I'm kitted up totally within my garden. That sounds, that, that, that makes sense, right guys? Okay, and then three for tea. Oh my gosh, I love this. An older Nora Corbett. The other ones were 2022. This one is 1998, I believe. Um, but, you know, from Mirabilia. Absolutely love this one. It's really pretty. And I, I don't think I would change a thing. I love it. It's beautiful. I, I mean, I might even go for the fabric. What called for fabric, maybe. We will see. Um... I know I'm going to kick myself because I'm probably going to forget something, but okay. <laughs> then this one, I love this one, Bathroom Ghost, but it's so cute. I just, I wanted to start that today. So it's by Create Your Desire on Etsy. Super cute. No cover photos, so that means that I can make what I want. You know what I'm saying? Like I will be the one seeing it come to life in the texture of stitching. And I, I love that. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh goodness. So I, oh my gosh, I always forget like this, the silly, like I'm not silly, but I, I'm silly because I forget <laughs> like to mention the super important things about uh, the people that I'm, I'm shouting out or that I'm mentioning. Well, so um, the stitchy kindness that I got from Kelly um, at pages three stitches on Instagram, I forgot to say she loves moths, like these gorgeous moths. She has like this array of pictures of moths on her Instagram and um, her stitching, she loves Mirabilia. So I was on Mirabilia and I remembered. <laughs> and she does uh, Riola's kits um, and pieces and she's very much into quilting um, and she also is stitching this uh, piece across stitching this piece by Paula Vaughn called Spring Remembered and it has like a bonnet and then like a quilt um, and a, like a field or like a kind of farm scene with like, oh, it's really pretty. I love it. So um, I think that was it though on what I really needed to mention. Um, and let's see. I got some more... Um, you know, haul that was kind of just more like kind of older haul that I just loved. So um, I wanted to show you. I got this Gloria and Pat um, book called A Merry Mouse Christmas. And this is from, I think it's from 19, 1980. Patricia Hillman Designs. Oh, isn't that so cute? I thought of Lucky Chance Stitcher Amanda. 
when I bought this. And this is uh, the back. And there's there's patterns or, you know, cover photos, but then they have, like, patterns right next to them. I always get kind of paranoid about that. I don't want to... There we go. Those. Cute. I don't know when I will stitch these, but I think I will start just, just one at some point and just kind of see how I like it. I love that, the mouse and the little sardine can. Some mice and stockings. And the quilt, patchwork quilt. I love the patchwork quilts. And the Christmas tree, candle. Some really fun stuff. So, really pretty, and then what just kind of automatically came with this, which I think is really cute too, um, Linda Gillum Christmas Bears, 50 Christmas Bears, kind of fun. Just cute stuff. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I think possibly gifting this or doing a giveaway. Speaking of giveaway, um... I think I'm gonna do a giveaway when I reach 2,500 subscribers. Um, so, what would you guys want to see with the giveaway? What What would you, you know, look forward to receiving if you won? Did I show you guys this across Stitch Christmas? There was such a fabulous stocking in here that if I haven't shown you, I want to show you. But this, the one from Craft uh, Craftways this year. Um, it's called a festive spirit. It has really pretty stuff in it and I'd recommend uh, collecting it if you like to collect Christmas um, you know Christmas books or Christmas patterns. It's just all around like really cool. I'm looking for the stocking to show you. Oh man. This is not fun watching me do this. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to put you on pause here. Sorry. Oh, found it. So, I love this stocking. It is so pretty. Yes, super, super pretty. That is by, let's see. Yeah, let's see who this is by. Okay, so it's by Barbara Sestock. And yeah, so love that piece. All right, um, truly losing. Um, what else? And I loved this um, edition of the world of cross-stitching. And with, you know, Elmer the Elephant, who doesn't love that book, that's the cutest. But I love this little, um, is it Lucy Heaton? The cute little Lucy Heaton um, mouse with its cross stitching. That's adorable. I always love her um, mice. They're so cute. Okay. And then my Timu haul. Um, I just feel like I can never get enough scissors. So that one, really pretty. And. these. Love that. My husband said we need to get you shelving because I have way too many project bags and way too many projects to not have more shelving. So we're gonna have to do that and then all my scissors can, you know, <laughs> be more organized too because I'll be able to find my, my pieces easier, my projects, that, my whips that are ongoing. Um, okay. And so when I'm officially taking over this room, I'm going to use this sign. Oh. If I can get it out of the bag to show you. There we go. Got that on Timu. The craft room, my happy place. 
So cute, right? Oh, I love that. I think that'll be perfect. And just for Halloween, because I was in a Halloween mood, Black Cat, March 1896, five cents. <laughs> so fun. A cat and a, a rabbit dancing and playing some kind of musical instrument. I don't think that's the banjo. Okay, well, it has been really fun. And um, thank you, uh, you know, if you stuck with me this long and, um, you know, I appreciate you, um, you know, hanging out with me and talking stitchy stuff. And I hope you have a great uh, rest of the month of August. I will see you uh, next month and hopefully we'll get started with Halloween by then. And, uh, you know, I, I have some Halloween things I'm looking forward to stitching and sharing with you. So have a great evening and I love you and happy stitching.